Welcome, thank you. Okay, so next on the list, we've got Kayla. Oh boy, good question. How to build an audience from scratch and outside your immediate geographical area? Well, speaking of geographical areas, Kayla, where are you? Hello, um, nice to be here for my first time. Um, I am in Buffalo, so um, near Canada, um, yes. but in America, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, welcome, good to have you here. I've, you. I've driven through Buffalo very briefly once. Um, <laughs> Okay, so how to build an audience from scratch and outside your geographical, immediate geographical area. Okay, well, an audience of whom? Well, I guess your target audience, I guess your ideal customers, right? Um, okay. And who would be yours? Okay, well, good point. Um, I'm kind of working on that right now, working on my niching, but right now, um, basically busy professionals who are looking for practical and natural tools for optimal well-being and stress management. Um, there's a, you know, sort of nugget I had emailed you regarding um, not wanting to get too intense with my niche as far as my own journey of origin story, um, which relates to PTSD, not being sure I want to get that heavy in my work. So I thought I would scale back to more of a stress management, um, kind of maybe in a way to balance that, but still also do the work that, um, yeah, I feel suited to do and have a toolkit <laughs> to do. Yeah, okay. So I would just say there's, there's work to do on the niche. Almost, okay. you know, the, the, if you're, if you're working locally, you know, in a town like Buffalo, you might be able to get away with something a little broad like that, but online you won't. I mean, okay. just, you know, if you want to Google stress management for professionals online and you'll just millions, I'm sure there'll be millions of things. Mm -hmm. So it's gotta be something a little more, a lot more narrow. And just for everyone who's struggling with their niche, which most of you probably are, um, there's a few resources. Um, so, well, okay, so first of all, uh, one resource is, okay, so for niching, most of them can, can be found if you go to uh, marketingforhippies.com slash steps and just go to step two, all my, you know, at least publicly available resources around niching are there. And then also if you go to, um, my website under the um, coaching, there's a, a niche review is one of the things you can get where you can send me your niche in 280 characters or less. And I will give you feedback in an audio note or you can book a one-on-one -on -one puttering session. Uh, those are all sold out right now, but on April 18th, we'll be releasing some more. Uh, and so that's one-on-one -on -one talking for an hour. And I'll just say almost everybody who books one of those is coming to me for help with their niche. Um, so those are some resources that can help uh, hone it because it, it's this question of, you know, here's the, the, the simple answer on how to reach people is also on that steps page. If you go to uh, step five, that's the hubs, the hub marketing thing. So how do we reach people? It's always gonna come back to this, reaching them through hubs. Uh, meaning you, instead of trying to find them individually, reach them cold you're trying to find out where they already hang out who are they already connected to that's always going to be the answer and it'll be different hubs for different groups so there's no generic answer in that way um, we have to know exactly who they are and oh and the last thing i would say also um this is something for the um if people do the puttering sessions but it's even useful and i'll probably be selling this but it's free for now uh, it's marketingforhippies.com slash puttering prep. And these are, when I do the puttering sessions, I realized just a few months ago that I've been using a lot of the same exercises. The same ones tend to be very helpful for people. And so this, these are the four main exercises with some support videos that I do to help people take a step on their niche. So if you're looking for the kind of real, you know, uh, nugget, uh, or a series of nuggets around niching and exercises that can help you go there. There's that. 
And then also, if you go to my um, YouTube channel, if you just search under my playlist, you'll see there's a playlist around exercises to figure out your niche. I've got a ton of playlists on niche, but there's one specifically around exercises. So if you just scroll down, search the word exercises, you'll find it. Um, and once we have that, this question of, you know, uh, how do we build the audience actually becomes fairly clear. Um, you know, I could give some broad ideas, you, you know, get interviewed on podcasts, but then again, which podcast? Podcasts are reaching home. Uh, you could be speaking in front of groups or, you know, um, uh, online or offline, but then again, which groups? And that really is going to depend on who you're trying to reach. When the niche isn't clear, all of these things feel sort of hopeless and overwhelming when the niche gets really clear. Um, suddenly the hubs have become very obvious, the next steps become obvious. So I would just say there's more work to do on the niche from the sounds of it. And um, good luck. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, thanks for coming.